Post, Phineas Within. Been deciding on uh, what to talk about. Of course, there's a lot to talk about. Of course, I did a 10 part recording, and YouTube is simply not going to allow that type of discussing or something. Whatever, whatever they're deciding. Big, big uh, loss on their end. Let's see, the um, latest favorite that I have is another one by Scott Bug. Um, uh, an earthquake in Canada, uh, just north of Maine, around that area, generalizing of course, 10 miles underneath uh, the surface, a 5.5 earthquake was felt. Now, that's on top of the surface that the earthquake was felt at 5.5. This is 10 miles underneath the surface. Just to give you an idea that what if it was one mile underneath the surface? What type of earthquake would, 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 what would have we have seen? We would have saw something far more different. The aftershocks were felt as far as Albany, New York. Um, there's been other earthquakes. Uh, sinkholes, like Scott Bug is confirming, sinkholes are forming. Um, Latest with the oil spill, the estimated numbers uh, are higher than what we were told yet again. Um, the latest plan with the oil leak is bomb it. I'm not kidding. Literally bomb the oil leak. Even nukes are being talked about. Which good luck using a nuke considering nukes don't work. But even so, how is fixing a broken pipeline and blowing it up going to fix anything? There's only two, there's only actually one way it could actually work. Um, okay, blows up the pipeline, sure. Um, and all that debris and all those rocks and whatever settles on top of the pipeline, settling on top of the opening of the pipeline, and, you know, it, it naturally pretty much just stopping the oil leak. However, uh, those chances being... 14% at absolute best. The other chances, you have two two outcomes. The oil leak being absolutely worse than what we're seeing now. That or that fire from that bomb chain linking with that oil and following it all the way to all whatever pipelines it's connected to, including rigs. You're talking about an all-out uh, explosion. Uh, of of pipeline and whatever, uh, however far this Louisiana pipeline, you know, in the Gulf of Mexico, however far that pipeline crosses, I mean, if it's connected to everything, everything's going then. Great plan, right? Um, this is what happens when you have when when you ha there's noob technology being used, you know, just worthless technology. Um, I mean, not all of it's worthless, but. Good gosh, when you're going for resources, period, including food, um, limited, limited circumstances, limited circumstances. We are, as human beings, we are looked at as the most essential and most interesting species of ETs in the universe by the ETs we know of. You know, I'm going to bring up this point. We are human beings, but a lot of persons don't realize we're ETs. Uh, I mean, okay, let, let's put this in a little realistic perspective. Um, we're looking on the uh, outside, right, and we're, we're talking about those. There's ETs out there. Well, and it's funny because uh, if they were to look on their outside to Earth, we would be ETs as well. We're ETs. We're extraterrestrials as well, though we're living more of a terrestrial life than an extra life, that's for sure. So that little debunk out of the way, and just to kind of bring an interesting and kind of cool perspective into view, and real, and you know, realized. I mean, let's be a little realistic here. We're not the only beings in the universe. We are aliens. We are ETs. We're beings. It's ultimately summed up as beings, but there's certain types of beings. Okay, now, um, and that recording that I was wanting to share, was why I was wanting to share about the second sun that has entered our solar system. And I believe this cycle only happens one out of every ten to 
one hundred, you know, the, like hundreds of millions of years. It's not often. That is why we saw a consistency with a pretty, you know, fairly mild, typical summer. And after three or four days, the heat indexes and heat rose out of nowhere. I'm sure you all have uh, seen that and realized that by now, I'm sure. We're having a heat epidemic that's not quite on the common scale. I mean, every summer there's some type of heat, heat dealio, heat thing going on. As it is, I'm kind of struggling to keep a little on the cool side, so yeah, I don't do re um, unscripted recording too often, not like I used to. Um, this summer's a lot different. Um, okay, news on um, Tropical Storm 2B, Hurricane Alex is the first of the Atlantic, and it's a little early in this year, but that's because the waters in the Gulf and the Atlantic and the Pacific are incredibly higher than what they've ever been, including during the time of Katrina. We're seeing that cycle again, five years ago, five years later. Now, here's something very ironic about it. Uh, it could be government, you know, you know, heart related, but it's a little hard to tell considering they, they got their hands tied right now. They are running out of ideas. Um, with this tropical storm, uh, Weather Channel's predicting it's going to go into Mexico, but uh, just in case it does take a turn and goes toward the Gulf. Um, I know that sounds bad. I know that, um, that if that happens and this were to go to if it hits Gulf waters, like in the clear, and it's heading towards Louisiana or heading towards Alabama or Georgia, it doesn't matter. I mean, just to let you know, it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit major hurricane status, and with the oil and with physics, it's gonna push that oil 20 to 30 feet inland. Um, I know that sounds bad, and the destruction is probably gonna be really difficult to to see and and deal with if you're unfortunately caught up in this, if this does happen, but um, it's not logical that anyone who is, you know, losing their life in whatever means that it is here to go into a re reincarnation cycle and, and, and wait to live again. I mean, honestly, that, that's not how eternity works. Eternal means to also eternally live, but in this universe, has unnatural occurrences. Of course, <laughs> the universe does not choose that, that's for sure. Life chooses life. Eternity chooses both eternity and life. Evolution chooses life and eternity. Rebirth chooses beauty. And, and that eternally flows. That eternally grows and expands on itself, by itself. It is self-aware. Um, uh, essentially, this draws back to, this, to a very interesting formula of this circulation with a lot of my recordings. It doesn't. It, it technically does not matter how unaware persons are, as long as everyone on a common base, general idea of wanting whatever is limiting them to be fixed. That's enough. When you think of our influences, what we can do. Uh, I mean, here, here's how limited we are in a physical standard. This is not realistic. Physical is not realistic. To be physical is to be in absolute irony uh, of utmost limitation. We as beings can do things, but let's just say for a whole day we didn't have no arms. We wouldn't even be as, we wouldn't even be able to do anything. I mean, honestly, wh wh who, who could do anything without arms for a day? And that, that being the whole world, y you would see how really limited, though that's not being realistic, but that does show how limited we are as beings. But that's based on the physical. The actuality as us as beings. Um... It's far more greater than uh, our imagination is capable of captivating. I expressed this in a video before, but I want to go a little deeper with this.